Hello everyone, welcome back to Mindful Investing. We have got some exciting news today. Broadcom is on fire, up nearly 10% after announcing a major partnership with OpenAI. This move single-handedly turned my portfolio green again after Friday's drop. To give you some context, my portfolio was down about 2.6% on Friday, but today it's up 2.9% and it's mostly because of Broadcom's rally. It's been an incredible rebound and honestly, it's a reminder of why I have held such a strong conviction in this stock. Broadcom is one of my highest conviction holdings and it's actually my largest position, making up about 22% of my portfolio. I currently hold around $40,000 worth of shares and I'm up nearly 98% so far. And I'm not alone in this conviction. Some of the biggest names in the market are backing Broadcom as well. For example, Tom Lee's Granny Shots ETF holds about $88.3 million worth of shares and Dan Ives' Wade Bush Fund holds around $42 million. That tells you institutional investors are seeing long-term strength here too. Now, according to my model, I still see a 322% upside in the next five years, which could put the stock around to $1,500 if the thesis plays out. But let me be clear, that doesn't mean it's a buy today. You always want to buy quality stocks at support levels or when they are undervalued with a margin of safety. That's how you give yourself downside protection while positioning for upside. All right, now let's dive into what this OpenAI deal actually is and why it could be a game changer for Broadcom. And before we get into the technicals of the deal, let's actually hear what OpenAI president Greg Brockman and Broadcom's Charlie Kawas said earlier today on CNBC. They talked about why this partnership exists, how massive the AI compute demand really is and what this collaboration means for both companies moving forward. Let's roll that clip in. First on CNBC is OpenAI co-founder and President Greg Brockman spoke with him last week and broke on President Charlie Cowles. We, uh, Charlie's going to be able to speak to a lot of stuff that we, we know how can be able to speak to. And I think that this is in particular his bailiwick. I want to start immediately uh, by going to you, Greg. The, you've announced big deals with AMD. You announced a very big deal with NVIDIA. Uh, why do you need still one more deal? Uh, well, first of all, thanks for having me back. Um, the way I think about this is we need way more compute power than we are still on trajectory to build. And so I think that there's a whole industry that still needs to be created in terms of how to have both the power and the computational power available to power the AI revolution that we see coming. And so part of what we're looking for here, part of what we've been working with Charlie and his team on is how to actually build chips that are customized for specific workloads so that we can take our knowledge of how to build the AI models and combine it with the best possible way of implementing that into silicon. Excellent. Now, Charlie, welcome aboard here. Thank Not you. Met you. One of the things that I think people are skeptical about is the idea that still one more company has to be involved because there's just so much demand. Uh, and I know your company as being about maybe the most hard-nosed company in Silicon Valley. I don't even think, I think that's fine. I talk, I joke with Hawk about that. But the fact is, is that your company is not idly thinking, you know, we're going to do this thing. No money's exchanged, but we, we're confident that OpenAI is going to exist. Will you please dispel a narrative which just says that this man and his company are spending like drunken sailors, and it doesn't matter what they do because build it if they come. Whereas I know Broadcom is saying, we better meet this on demand or else we're going to be left behind. Yeah. Well, first of all, Jim, thank you for having us here. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here with you and Greg. Um, at Broadcom, actually, we've been building and enabling the AI infrastructure for over a decade. So it's not new experience for us. But what's exciting here with Greg and the team is we're actually having a very unique collaboration. As you said, it's a co-development. And it actually what I call a trifecta. So the first thing that we do is exactly that custom AI accelerator or custom GPU or XPU that Greg talked about. That's where the compute is. The second piece that we put together is the network. You need to connect all of these XPUs so that you actually can scale them. And one of the coolest things that we do is it's based on open standard Ethernet networking. 
And the best thing that comes on top of this is the software. And that's where Greg and Sam and the team come together. So when we combine all of these th things together and we fine tune them, we actually create the best AI platform that delivers the highest performance at really unprecedented power, as you were saying, and cost. And so we're very excited about this. We've been doing this for a while with Greg and I. We actually talk about it multiple times a week and, and we see this happening. Wow, that was powerful insight from both sides and it really highlights the scale of what's happening here. OpenAI is essentially saying they need far more compute power than even Nvidia and AMD alone can provide. And Broadcom stepping in to co-develop custom AI accelerators, not just off-the-shelf GPUs, shows how serious they are about owning a big piece of this next phase of AI infrastructure. This isn't just another supplier deal, this is a co-development at scale and it puts Broadcom right alongside NVIDIA and AMD as a key enabler of the AI revolution. According to some of the analysts, this deal could unlock massive upside for Broadcom's AI business. They estimate that each gigawatt of capacity could translate into roughly $20 billion in revenue meaning the potential upside could be $40 billion per year, starting as soon as the second half of 2026. That's on top of what Broadcom CEO Hawk Tan already guided for, a doubling of AI revenue this physical year and another doubling next year. So this open AI partnership could easily push those numbers even higher. And analysts also admit the deal might be margin dilutive, meaning profits per dollar could be slightly lower, but the overall earnings and revenue impact is so significant that they frankly don't care about it. And what's interesting is that this also validates Broadcom's ASIC technology, their application specific integrated circuits. These are different from GPUs made by Nvidia and AMD. Instead of one size fits all chips, Broadcom collaborates directly with companies like OpenAI to build custom silicon optimized for their workloads. In short, this deal isn't just about chips, it's about AI infrastructure leadership and Broadcom just got a massive validation from one of the biggest names in the field. That's it for today's updates. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this OpenAI Broadcom partnership? Do you see it as a long-term growth driver? And how are you positioning your portfolio around opportunities like this? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I always enjoy reading your perspectives and insights. And if you found value in this video, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my future updates. I appreciate your support and as always, invest smart, stay patient and I'll see you in the next one.